Well, Alan, you're the road safety section manager at Durham County Council. Um, just tell us a bit about what your job entails. OK, uh, well, our remit is to uh, reduce road casualties in County Durham through education, training and publicity. Um, so under education and training, we, we look at retraining drivers, for example, and we're working with uh, dozens of companies, specifically in the Newton Aycliffe area, uh, the courses are called safe and fuel efficient driving. So we're improving uh, company drivers to make sure that they can go about the work safely. Uh, we, we do driving courses for the general public, for, for older drivers, uh, for advanced motorcycle training for uh, riders of large bikes. And also we do a, a whole host of work in schools, you know, such as cycle training, child pedestrian training and other projects in schools. So that's uh, basically our remit and of course publicity, which is what we're doing today. Yeah, and you, you mentioned that we're here at Newton Aircliffe, New, yeah. New Lane Park, uh, the home of Newton Aircliffe Football Club. Um, Newton Aircliffe helping you to, to publicise yeah. um, a campaign which is tied in with Euro 2012 and it's, it this is, uh, it's the sort of um, show, showing the red card to the morning after effects. Tell us a bit about, about the, this initiative. Well, um, the, the figures show that actually the, uh, the drink drive detection figures the morning after are on the increase and it seems that people may not be drinking and driving on, on the day as they, you know, they traditionally would uh, but now we're finding that they're, they may be getting a bus home at night or a taxi but the next day they're still over the limit they may be drinking more the night before so what we want to do during the Euro 12 competition is to make sure that people enjoy the football enjoy their lager as well but uh, make sure that you know when they are drinking to drink sensibly uh, if they're going to drink that uh, drive that day, not to drink at all. But if they're going to drive the next day, to make sure that they drink just enough to enjoy it, but not enough to make them over the limit the next day. Do you think that that morning after thing? Do you think that's that can be sort of underestimated by drivers? Oh, absolutely. Um, I'll give you an example. Uh, it, it depends on the on the build of the person and their metabolism. But on average, if you if you drank four pints of lager the night before, you should wait at least twelve hours to make sure it's out of your system after you finish drinking that last pint. So you know if you finish at midnight, it's midnight. Uh, sorry, it's midday or one o'clock the next day before you you're legally fit to drive. But even if you are um, below the limit and uh, and legally uh, fit to drive, you may not feel well enough and you might still be impaired the next morning and you could cause an accident.